guys, it's Riley, aka Honey Rags, and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I'm just going to show you guys a clothing haul. So I noticed you guys like it when I jump right in. No intro, no backstory, nothing. I got all these clothes at Goodwill in a local rescue mission of mine. I'm going to be kind of doing it a little bit backwards because I'm going to show you guys the brand name clothing. And then I'm going to show you guys the eclectic vintage handmade clothing that I could not pass up on that I think is going to do really good on Relove and Etsy. So with that said, let us dive so in. Every once in a while I will find something like a band t-shirt and I will repurpose it, which really just, I, I distress it and kind of transform it. I found this Jefferson airplane shirt and I did a lot of distressing. I actually had to reinforce all of the edges of the distressing because I just, when I sell something that's distressed, I I don't want it to just be a ripped up t-shirt. Like I wanna make sure this thing can go through the wash and dry cycle and it's going to keep the same look. Um, I don't want a customer to have to deal with something fraying and falling apart when it's supposed to be distressed. So I, I went through and reinforced all of the edges, as you guys can see with my sewing machine. So I did that with all of the shirts you're about to see. This one's a really cool white snake one. I reinforced the edges and a deaf leopard one, which has like a collabed logo, which I think is pretty cool and unique. Um, again, I reinforced all of the edges on this. Um, I did a little bit of distressing down below and I reinforced that as well. So this, these are the only ones that I repurposed or distressed myself. So now we're just moving on to the brand clothing that I found. And of course the first one is going to have a backwards label. This is Kabi's newer label, which sells obviously better than the older label. This is just a really heavy poncho style, almost poncho style cowl neck sweater. Blue and gray cowl neck hoodie, which I almost passed on because it's a very simple style. But I just, I'm a sucker for cowl necks and blue and gray, it sells well for me. I also found this, which I'm keeping for myself, but I wanted to show you guys. It's an older Athleta. I just really like the neckline on this one, so it'll be nice to throw on in the fall. This is my first time finding this brand, Desigual. Desigual? Desigual? I don't know how to say it. Um, This is not my favorite style. But I think I'm going to throw 20 bucks on this dress. Um, it is a brand that seems like it sells well around the $20 price range as far as certain patterns. So we'll see. Lauren Ralph Lauren 100% silk royal blue blouse. So royal blue and silk does well for me. Specifically if it's Lauren Ralph Lauren and silk. I have sold something similar to this in the past around the $25 price point. I found this Mark by Marc Jacobs dress. Um, I believe this is like Mark's, Mark Jacobs' lower line of clothing, but it's still a good brand to pick up. I don't know what I'm going to put on that yet. Found this Intimately Free People, which is obviously a line of free people. This is just a bright white blouse with a little bit of like tattered edging, which I really like. So I think I'm going to put 25 on this. I actually sold an Intimately Free People baby doll sleeper on Relove not that long ago for $22 I believe. This is a Disney Lauren Conrad collab collection which sells well for me. This is a Snow White piece. I think I'm going to put 30 on that. This is just a plain Vince top. There's nothing special about it but I just it's really hard for me to pass on Vince. Even if I just put $15 on it I'll still be making a profit. Another Vince. This is a Young, Fabulous, and Broke, kind of almost ombre dye sweater. This is an Eileen Fisher 100% silk blouse. I just really, I can't pass on Eileen Fisher either. And this is her newer label, I believe, and it's silk. So I think I'm going to put 35, maybe 40 on this piece. I found this Lucy Athletic Top. Um, it's in pretty good condition, maybe a little bit of wash wear, but I think I'm still going to put like 20 or 25 on it. I found this Calvin Klein leopard print dress. And the reason I picked this one up, although I've been passing on Calvin Klein dresses, unless they're the fit and flare style, 
look up Calvin Klein fit and flare dress because they sell out the door for me pretty much around $40 to $50. Um, anyway, regardless, this one I picked up because of the animal print, which is still in style, believe it or not. I think I'm going to put $30 on this. Then I found this Athleta sweater. It's in excellent condition and honestly feels like it was never even thrown through the washer. I think I'm going to put $25 on this. I found these Lucy Athletic bottoms. These are just like a wider leg, almost flare leg workout bottom. I think I'm going to put $25 on these. I sold almost the exact same pair not that long ago for $20. And believe it or not, through all of this time I've spent reselling. This is my first time coming across Citizens of Humanity in the Wild. I know the resale rate on these has dropped quite a bit, but I haven't ever found them before. I want to be able to say I found them and flipped them. <laughs> They're in great condition. Um, kind of a flare bottom. So I think I'll list these at 25, maybe 30. I'm going to look up the style. So now we are moving on to the items that are not brand name, but are either really unique or like a special vintage that I could not pass up on. My vintage and brand name ratio was pretty much 50-50 on this trip and the reason for that is because I went to a rescue mission that I think they get a lot of like leftover estate clothing. Um, their donations are just such a contrast from what I usually find at like my Salvation Army or my Goodwill. So I found a lot more vintage than I usually do. Just gonna dive right in. This piece, I don't know how vintage I would consider it, but it is a, that is the little big boy guy and he's wearing like a pink outfit. And this is a pastel pink shirt. And I don't know, I could not pass on it. I will probably list it at 20. I just, I couldn't pass on it. Um, I found this hoodie, which is not vintage and it's Marushka which I find so much Marushka around here because it's a boutique, I think boutique brand. I find a plethora of it every time I go to the thrift store and I almost always leave it behind because the resell rate is not the best, but this is a really psychedelic bright hoodie and it has the sun in the front. So I think I'm gonna list this at $25. This is not vintage either. But it is one of those like sarcastically patriotic tops that I think will do well around $20. And this one has cute little elephants all over it. And I looked closer and I realized some of the elephants are headed to Florida, it looks like. Um, I'm not sure how vintage this is, but I think I'm going to list this around $30. I found this. I shouldn't have said vintage and pointed to all of these things because some of these are not vintage but just wait I will be getting into the vintage section in just a second this is a band knuckle puck the band um there was no size tag or anything on this but band shirts like this do well so I think I'm going to ask 25 for this this says I do believe this one's vintage it's the paps blue ribbon guy I know somebody out there is going to appreciate this. I'm probably going to list around 25. The story so far, this is not vintage either, but this is a pop punk band. It's one of those weird like indie bands that will probably end up selling pretty well for me. Um, I'll probably list this around $20. I don't want to grow up. Tom Waits. I wasn't even going to get this, but I sent it to my fiance and he said, you need to get that because someone will buy it. So we'll see. We'll see if he's right. Now on to the true vintage. I don't know if these are supposed to be like some sort of recreated apron or what, but I found four of these with the exact same style, all different pattern. One, two, three, and four. I actually found like eight of them, but I picked out my four favorites because I I obviously I'm going to list them as a blouse, but I don't know what their original purpose was because they're definitely a lighter fabric and I don't know, the tailoring of them is different than a typical blouse. Um, they also had, some of them had this tag on them. So I don't know, I don't know what the purpose of these was, but they are vintage and the vintage patterns like these dainty flowers sell pretty well. So I think these will do good on Etsy around $20 a piece. I also found this killer vintage, I thought this was like a frat house name, but it must be some tourist destination. It has this 
cool graphic image on the back. I'll probably list this around $30 to be honest because it is it's special. It's really interesting. I also found this pastel Hawaiian top. Pastel in Hawaiian. You can't go wrong. Um, this one is 100% silk as well. I'll probably list it around $25. And this one, it's not super vintage, maybe like later 90s, but this teacup tacky pink princessy pattern I think will do well with like a kawaii tag or lolita tag or even kitsch which are all good tag names to have on Etsy so I think somebody will appreciate this one I'm probably going to list it at 25. This is the last one I have to show you guys these really awesome tacky pajama pants with the coolest label this label says made especially for you by grandma how cute. I'll, I'll probably list these around $25 as well. Um, honestly, I would wear these to the supermarket. So maybe I'll just list them as like lounge pants. But yeah, regardless, that is my haul. Um, two videos today. That's my first time uploading two videos, but I wanted to show you guys the stuff before I started listing and measuring it. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about my weird vintage finds and if there's anything you need to correct me on, go ahead and feel free down below in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will leave a link to my Instagram down below in this video description. So as always, happy selling.